Today we are going to create a sculpture piece, a sculpture piece that you can place on your coffee table, your end table, or on a, a shelf, but nonetheless, it will be a sculpture piece. Not of clay, not of marble, or any type of stone or metal, but we're going to make it look like metal. Uh, but in order to do this, Styrofoam Et, which I said that you can get from a, a supply store, beauty supply store, and I chose to use gold leaf. You can also get the leaf in silver, you can get it in bronze. I selected gold because a lot of the pieces that I had in my jewelry box is made of gold. So I will, uh, first you need to learn how to apply the uh, gold leaf. Now we're ready to start gold leaf uh, and the spray, the adhesive spray. Very easy to do. So I'm just gonna put a little bit there. Wow. Uh, and this is always a little tacky. Now you see how wrinkle is getting? That may bother you and you think, well, this is not working. But once you smooth it off down with this uh, brush, which is a soft brush, it will actually adhere to the adhesive on the styrofoam. Now we can always go back over it. It's missing some pieces, but not to worry. The more you pile it on, the more it looks like it's a piece of sculpture from something that's not necessarily so smooth. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Uh, take this piece. And flatten it out a little bit. And then we can keep coming back to it. Uh, certain areas in here we did, so you, you get the gist of what we're doing. We're gonna completely cover the head with gold. Uh, once it's covered, I am selecting to take off this base uh, because I think it looks too much like a, a wig holder and we want it to look like a sculpture piece when it's done. So we're gonna remove this and we're going to start to apply our jewelry. Now, what you need is just a few items to get this project done. We know we need the adhesive for the, uh, for the silver gold or for the gold leaf and we need a gold leaf. You also may want to invest in these pins. These are uh, pins that are used, actually these are T-pins on the bottom, and you'll find this also in your beauty store. Uh, I understand that they use these uh, for actually placing wigs on, and the T-pin is used also to keep it on there. So this is the T-pin, it's a great pin to have. Uh, and also you want to have the, this garden pin that you can buy from a garden store. Not for real flowers, it's actually used more for silk flowers. So go to one of your uh, uh, hobby socks type of uh, stores and you can find a lot of them very easily priced. And remember the styrofoam. Now why styrofoams and pins? This is a project that I'm showing you that no two are ever going to be the same. And it's going to be up to you to make yours look different because your collection of jewelry, which you also have, is not like what I have and what others have. So these are some pieces that I found and I selected and I put uh, together. So what will, we, what will happen is that you use the pins to apply. So let's say we select to put this one here first, right? Well, we can do it this way. Can you see this? You got it? Okay. So we're putting it in there, and that's the first piece. Now I don't know where we're gonna go. I, I, I'll show you what I did for the neck of it. These, these cuffs, by the way, are very reasonable. It's not real gold. Uh, sometimes you can find them online, or you can find something that's reasonable if you don't have it in your jewelry box already. But I did this. I just put this on very tight, got it into the styrofoam, and you can see how we, we worked it around. So this is the beginning of that. Uh, we can take this necklace. I'm not going to do an entire one okay. because we'll be here too long. So, I put two things here. Uh, this is a pin, as I said, and this is a necklace which I'm putting on the top. And I'm doing this rather quickly uh, so you can get the gist of what we're doing and how it will look. Uh, truthfully, so you won't get frustrated. Uh, it took me a while to finish the, uh, this project to the point of where I really loved it a lot because I kept changing what I had on the head of the mannequin. Uh, so use the pen. You can take it and change it as many times as you like, uh, and then you will finally some, find something that satisfies you. Uh, no two are alike. 
Uh, but what the purpose of it is, is to do something that looks like a sculpture piece when you're done. Uh, so we're using everything that we have in our jewelry box from pins, uh, more pins, uh, bracelets. Uh, we're also using uh, bracelets again. So there are many options that you can have. Find it if it's broken or if you want to go to the store and buy more of them, feel free to do so. To do so. But this is a wonderful table uh, sculpture piece that will look great on your living room table, your coffee table, and your friends are going to be amazed when you tell them how you put it together. So I will show you the finished product uh, in a while. Now, this is my baby. <laughs> this is my finished product. Uh, my sculpture piece with many pieces on it. I did not count them, uh, but I can tell you that I love it. I think it's a conversation piece, and it also has a lot of quality to it. Not just in creating it, but having so much fun doing so. Uh, it has the glow. These, the, what you see here is actually, uh, what do you call them? You put them on your head, headbands, that's it. Uh, these are headbands without the adornment, adornment of things that's on it. I thought it made a nice glow for it. And then the necklaces here, most of it are pins. So. Have fun. Make something uniquely yours. When your friends or family come over, I'm sure that they're going to enjoy the fruit of your labor. I'll see you later.